Welcome to our van plan. It's a bit of a different video this week. We're actually heading out in the van and we're on a little adventure. So we've come to Van Life Eats Big Picnic which is in Basingstoke which is where we live, live so we haven't actually come that far. Um, quite excited though, it's the first two days off grid in the camper van so we've done a few things to get ready for it um, and so we're, yeah, we're going to show you around the show over the next couple of days over this bank holiday weekend, hopefully meet some of uh, our followers and people that we follow um, and we'll also give you an update on the van and show you around uh, where we're up to today because it's not finished but it's definitely usable. set up, had some lunch and we've been to see the Van Life Conversions UK talk which is really good, thanks Ollie and Emily and um, we're now going to have a look at the van showcase which is over this way. So we've had a great afternoon here at Van Life Eats Big Picnic here in Basingstoke. Uh, we looked at the van showcase which was amazing, loads of great vans there and really nice for us to see how people have uh, dealt with some of the challenges like around the rear lights and, and uh, places like that. So we got some great ideas for how we could finish the van. Met some really cool people as well, lots of people we follow on YouTube and Instagram. Um, we've had some dinner, chilled out for the evening and now we're going to head up to watch some live music and chill out by the fire pit. to the second field uh, there's loads more vans here a bit more informal a bit more of a quiet field but um, it's really cool lots of different types loads of VW transporters more Ducatos and relays and so on and some really nice Mercedes sprinters actually a really cool stealth one with wheels which I absolutely love not sure they're gonna um, really look great on our van though sadly but no it looks really good so uh, yeah enjoying wandering around and having a nose Smile and wave, smile and wave. <laughs> no mistake, Eric. 
Kim. That was cool looking at all those vans. So we're back at our van now, uh, ready for a bit of lunch. Gonna do a pasta dish on the Kadak, give that a go. And then there's a cornfield over, the next field over that apparently you can go and walk around. So we'll do that this afternoon um, and see the countryside around Dummer. We used to dance our way to church on Sundays. Mama set the pace, daydreamer. So lovely around here so we're out on the fields now and the uh, amazing views and bearing in mind this is only sort of 10 minutes from our house and never really knew it existed uh, the m3 is literally over the hill there but you wouldn't know um, so it's great it really adds to the vibe of the festival um, and yeah just nice to be able to walk around in the countryside so i need to find out whether this is actual general footpaths or whether this is just accessible because we're at the event but um yeah it's really nice enjoying it wow. Just back from our lovely walk out on the fields and the weather's turned a bit, it's got a bit windy so we had to wind the awning in which was fun in the wind, didn't want that fall falling off. But um, yeah, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to give you a quick update on the van's progress. Nowhere near done, but we're certainly usable, hence being here. Um, we're a little bit behind on the YouTube video so we will have um, stuff coming up soon covering some of the things that you'll see. So the first thing um, that you've actually seen in the recent video is our ceiling. This is now in place, this is our slatted ceiling. Um, it's looking really great, it was an absolute nightmare to do, but we think it looks really good and really pleased with it. Um, we've got spaces for uh, upper cabinets which are gonna go here and at the back over here. Um, so that's still to do. Um, we've got obviously our Max Air fan is in and I've got the Max Air shade as well. So this is the bracket that the shade attaches to. I wanted to test the fan before um, fitting the shade because it's a bit fiddly and um, it might, yeah, I didn't want to kind of fit it and have to take it off again. So that's kind of like from the ceiling point of view. You can see we've got our LED spotlights in as well. So um, before coming here, I did some basic wiring in the garage for the fan. So we've got the batteries in for the 12 volt system. We've got our fuses some um as i say wiring for these lights we've got lights over here in the cab which are up here in the corner which are wired in we've got um uh, usb chargers on the parcel shelf at the top there um and then i think that's oh yeah we've got the fridge in as well we put the dometic crx 50 in decent fridge actually um just temporarily for now but this will move further along there um, but it's a great fridge and that's working and it's certainly helped with the weekend. The next thing you see at the back here is the bed. So the bed is now built. Um, we've got two, well, the, well, basically a double bed size split into two mattresses stacked on top of each other. And then we've got the sliding out piece here, which comes out like this. And then the, um, this mattress comes down on top at this point and we, and we get our full width double bed, which is great. Um, working really well and really comfortable and um, we've got a video on that coming soon and then the most recent thing is the bench seat here so running across the widthways in the van we've got our bench, uh, bench seat so the um, yeah this end's going to be the Truma boiler and the kitchen will come up to over here we'll, this will be the main kind of seating area and then this will lift up um, so we can access the uh, garage area as well so um so that's yeah this is really good and again just it's usable now which is fantastic um and i think that's pretty much everything so ply lined on the walls obviously we've got our cutouts again another video on that coming soon um and we've got a long list of things that we want to complete over the next well hopefully month or two 
Um, but the next job, the next big job really after finishing the seat is the kitchen. So um, that's the kind of thing coming up. But we have got another trip away in a few weeks time as well, which we'll uh, hopefully keep you updated on um, and you can catch our progress. But hang around and please consider liking and subscribing to follow our journey. We'll have some more videos coming a little bit more regularly, hopefully soon on the bed, the wall cut out and on the seat. van all packed up then and we're ready to go home after our first ever Van Life Eats Big Picnic and it's the first ever of those events anyway so it's great to be part of the inaugural um, event, great job from Van Life Eats in terms of putting on a brilliant festival. Um, we met loads of really cool people, lots of people we follow on uh, social media, it's nice to see them for real and look around their vans um, also getting some good ideas on how we can finish some of the more tricky bits of this van like around the rear lights um, and other bits and pieces there so we've got, some, got our notebooks out and uh, got some tips down there. Um, from for our van in itself we got some yeah we're really pleased that we could use it off-grid for two days um, we yeah it was comfortable had all the you know creature confidence that we needed we got the electricity in and the, ba the batteries only went down by about 15 percent over this whole time so we know we're super good for off-grid and sometimes you've got to just start in a safe place or in a bit more of a slightly different environment and that's been good for us so we know yeah it's something we want to do in the future hope you found this video uh, enjoyable and interesting something a bit different for us definitely not vloggers but uh, we'll be back to the build video soon with the wall cutouts the bed and the seat in the meantime if you fancy subscribing and keeping up to date with our build and our what we're uh, up to in the van then please consider liking this video and clicking the subscribe button or follow us on instagram at our van plan and we'll see you next time